Example seven, a metal block that has volume 0 0.2 meter cube is hanging in the water tank as shown in the figure to the left. What is the tensions of the string? Okay, so for this case, we know that there are three forces that act on this object, the weight, the up thrust and the tensions, right? And then so we know that uh, these three forces are in equilibrium. So therefore the tensions plus the up thrust is equal to the weight okay so they would like us to find the tension so therefore the tension is equal to the weight minus the up thrust okay minus the up thrust now uh, before this we have learned that to find weight uh, now we have the the density the densities of the metals and the densities of the water okay so to find weight any idea what's the formula that we can use to find weight? Uh, mg is yes, okay. Mg should be no problem, okay. Uh, up trust rho vg, yeah. up trust is rho vg. Uh, you can't say density times volume, okay. That's correct, okay. That's correct. You see, uh, we have learned this here, we have discussed this here, okay. You see, yeah, uh, weight of object. Density times volume times G. Yeah? Up trust also density times volume times G. Rho V G. Rho V G. Both also the same, okay? But for weight, you must you must use the densities of the object and the volumes of the object. And for uh, up trust or buoyant force, you must use the densities of water and the volumes of water. Okay, so uh, this mg, okay, we should write it uh, rho 2 V G yeah? minus rho 1 V G. Now you see, uh, I use uh, the same symbol for G because the G must be the same. Eh? The gravitational field strength is the same. And then the volume also the same. The volume also the same. Eh? Okay. So why the volume is the same? This is the volume of the water and this is the volume of the iron block. Can any of you tell me why the volume is the same? This is the volume of the water. This is the volume of the wooden block. But why I write this too? I use the same symbol for these two. Why are they the same? Okay, that is because that is because this block is fully immersed in water, and when the block is fully immersed in water, the what the volume of the water displaced is equal to the volume of the block. This only true when the block is fully immersed in water. If it's not fully immersed, then uh, the volume of the displaced water is not equal to the volume of the block. Eh? But this case is fully immersed, therefore the volume is the same. Okay, uh, to make the calculations easier, we can factorize this, this VG, okay? Okay, we factorize this VG. We can substitute the uh, values that we have, okay? Row 2 is the the weight of the object okay so therefore it must be the density of the iron eh? the density of the iron so to find the weight of the iron block we must use the densities of the iron eh? and the densities of the iron is eight thousands okay eight times ten to the power of three eh? this eight thousands minus the densities of the water one times ten to the power of three and v is the volume of the block uh, the volume of the block is 0 0.2 meter cube and G is always 10. Use your calculator to do the calculations and tell me what's your answer. 14,000 Newton. 14,000 Newton. Uh, so for these types of questions, you must know the forces that act on the object. Okay, and then you must know their relationship. Uh, tension plus up thrust equals to the weight and then you need to know how to find the up thrust F equals to rho VG and how to find the weight weight also equals to rho VG yeah? um, but for the weight of the object you must use the densities of the materials that we use to make the object and for the up thrust then you must use the densities of the liquid yeah? and this V is the volume of the displaced water and this V is the volume of the block but there will be the same if the block is fully immersed in water